Hi, my name is Liz McChrystal and I'm the Creative Arts Officer here at the Basil Sellers Exhibition Centre in Maria on the New South Wales South Coast. Um, we've been open for about 18 months now and uh, we are now able to showcase Shimmering, the Mona Hessing um, tribute project by eight local or South Coast artists. The response to this exhibition has been really great. People have loved seeing textiles in a new way. So we've got a lot of sculpture. Um, textiles have been used in a painterly way as well, which is also really great with this exhibition. And then there's also books uh, and vessels have also been used. So putting this uh, exhibition together with the artist has actually been pretty fluid. Um, Lorna Crane has acted as the curator for this particular show, so she was largely in charge of um, working with her other seven artists. In terms of the physical installation of the works, uh, we had a rough layout and exhibition design idea before the works were delivered, and so we really just used that as a guide for installing the exhibition. So we roughly had about a week to install this, um, which was really great to work with the artist prior, have the works here, have them in place, and then have them resting, and then come back and um, see how that's working within the space. The role of fibre arts within Yerubadala, so that's where we're lo located, has a really strong history. So I think it was really important to us when we were curating our 2020 program to have a representative of that medium in the space. I think the Yerubadala Fibre and Textile Artist Group, of which these artists are members of, has had, I think it's almost 15 years, a foundation, I think, in, the, in this area. So I think they've moved or at least explored craft and um, textile art as a way to communicate women's stories. And I think that's what's really important that we wanted to try and communicate with this exhibition, that this is that's the foundation or the history of this medium and having a predominantly female group based out of um, the fibre and textile artist group from this area, I thought that those kind of links were quite important when um, representing our first textile show at the Baz, let alone Mona Hessing, who um, finished her life in Churros, which is part of Yerubadala. So there are a lot of reasons why we wanted to include um, textile and its history within Yerubadala with its first public art gallery. We are very motivated to show this medium. I think it's really interesting that not only um, us or this area, but nationally, I think it's being, um, it's kind of forcing its way into uh, our art galleries. And I think that's really great. And trailblazers like Mona Hessing kind of built that foundation as well as our indigenous population. They've been making and using textile as an art form. Uh, form of expression, the way of sharing stories well before colonisation. So I think it's really important and it has a really deep history nationally and internationally. I think in terms of this space and, and where maybe textiles might sit in its future, we're really interested in, in seeing how the artist can use this space. So maybe the medium and how it fits within this space in terms of site specific. So our space here is quite unique. We do have running windows and we do have a, a large kind of seated window area within the space. So it'd be really great to see textile art because it's quite fluid, maybe interact with in our space as well.